Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Snow White with the Red Hair, Chapter 127.7. Uh, when we last left our heroes, we were continuing our sort of flashback with Hisame and Kiki. In the aftermath of that little night, they, the little, like, you know, slight dozing they shared by the fire, uh, Hisame had to go, had to, like, go back to his house on the estate, or however exactly this situation is working. But he passes by Mitsuhide's room and has a bit of an awkward conversation with him, um, asking for, like, advice on how to bridge the gap between him and Kiki, as their dynamic has always been sort of professional or, you know, court, like, more, more based in, in, like, court, court proceedings. I don't know what the right word is. Fuck, I'm blanking. Um, rather than, like, actual attraction. And he's starting to feel that attraction and he wants to sort of close the gap. And it leads to a bit of an awkward moment with him and Mitsuhide, especially as Zen walks in on them in a uh, not quite compromising pose, but a slightly compromising pose. But yeah, with that said, uh, let's dive right on into chapter 127.7. There's no title, it's just 127.7. Uh, big hit, a romance that cuts through fate, through fate, Snow White with the Red Hair, you know the drill by now, we've been at this for a while. Uh, but volume, 20, volume 25 is on sale now, we learn. Uh, we open with, with Kiki's hand knocking on the door. I'm coming in, uh, and, and it's Hisame's room, of course. And Hisame looks at, her, looks at her. What's this? My fiancé showing up for a nighttime tryst. Uh, but Kiki just tells him, it's morning. It's unusual for you to oversleep, so I came to wake you up. Are you feeling all, all right? Uh, and I, I should have mentioned, this is the following morning. He's, we're not sort of continuing that conversation with Mitsuhide and Zen. We just sort of warp to the next morning. I'm all right. Last night, I just stayed up late with Sir Mitsuhide and his highness. Uh, and that's kind of takes Kiki by surprise. And she asks, was it after you left my place? Yeah, I just felt like it. Uh, and Kiki's already sort of thinking about Zen. So his highness must also be asleep. Uh, and Hisame looks out the window and comments, the weather, the weather looks nice today. And Kiki sort of looks at him uh, and brings her hand over. Um, and just sort of like, like, I think, brushes his hair, I think. Uh, it's a little like cute, it's this cute little, little romantic bit of intimacy uh, that's just sort of nice, you know. Like I, like I said before, pre, like back when I watched the anime in high school, I was very much a Mitsukiki and, like, thought Hisame is, like, a threat to their dynamic. But, like, they're just kind of sweet. They're just sort of fun. Uh, but Kiki then asks him, shall we go for a walk? Uh, and Hisame just lays there smiling at her. Like, that's adorable. That is fucking adorable. Um, and then I think this is Kiki asking, how much did you drink last night? I didn't. I actually just made some tea. Uh, and then we cut to Zen also that same morning, who notes, oh, hmm, and he's with Mitsuhide. Kiki's here. She's coming to see us. Um, and I think, I think this is Mitsuhide sort of, ask, you know, making sure Zen won't reveal why Hisame was with them the night before. You won't say anything or show it on your face, right? Oh, right, that's the exact thing that, that Zen said at the end of last chapter. He had the line about, um, um, you know, he won't say anything or show it on my face about seeing him in and Mitsuhide in that, like, awkward position. Um, right, right. It's a direct callback. It still just, like, feels like it's a weirdly phrased line, which I'm going to blame on the translation just not really being my go-to here. But whatever. Um, but Zen tells him, well, I did promise. But you weren't able to give Lady Hisa Lord Hisame, Lord Hisame, any advice, right? Uh, Mitsuhide tells him, well, it's true that he just wanted to get some things off his chest. But no matter what I say now, Kiki wouldn't appreciate it. Uh, and Zen sort of comments, well then, I guess as usual, you and I have no choice but to be envious. Of what exactly you're getting out there, Zen? Of, like, the fact that Hisume is in a relationship? Is that the point? Because if it were just Mitsuhide, it could, like, if it was just that you have no choice but to be envious, it could be sort of a dig at those you know, those feelings he had for, or rumored feelings he had for Kiki. I forget if he actually had any feelings for Kiki in the end, or if it was just like a popular, a very, very popular ship. Um, but Zen? Zen has no feelings for Kiki. That's not the dynamic here. It might just be like, you know, 
for being in a relationship, whereas he can't re- or being able to spend time with your fiance. Zen can't really spend time with Shiroyuki. Uh, anyway, uh, Mitsuhide goes on. I'm just saying we'll help her when the time comes. Uh, and Zen comments, "Yeah, that's true." Um, and now the page is glitching on me. And it wants me to retreat. There we go. There we go. It just didn't reload. Uh, and we cut to Kiki then saying, "It looks like." You're trying to decide whether to say something or not. Uh, and Mitsuhide is... She's talking to Mitsuhide, who's not telling her anything about Hisame. Uh, but I guess he just has the vibe of someone who wants to tell her something. Uh, and Zen's kind of judgy over there. Uh, as, as, as Mitsuhide just comments, Kiki, what? I think Hisame and I are better friends than I thought. Which is about as much as he really has the right to say here. Uh, and Kiki just asks... Are you happy about that? More than I expected. Uh, and Kiki sort of laughs. I'll be sure to let him know. Please don't. Uh, and then Zen comes in. By the way, Kiki, our patrol has been changed the day after tomorrow. Will you like a souvenir? Uh, and Kiki tells him, understood. Can it be something from Lirius? Ah, Lirius. Well, I have to do preparations for his majesty's ceremony. And I also have to meet up with Lord Makiri. Ma- nah, Makiri, so of course I'll go. Uh, and is Makiri the Lord of, of, uh, Lirius? I feel like, I feel like we definitely met the Lord of Lirius before. Uh, yes, he is the Lord of Lirius. Thank you, wiki search. Um, and Mitsuhide just teases, are you sure that's the only reason? And then just, of course it is. There's, there's no one else he wants to see there. <laughs> um, but Kiki just tells her, tells him, give him my regards. Uh, and also that I couldn't come because of the night banquet. I imagine someone will complain about your absence. Don't imagine that. Um, so, I forget. Did, did we know that Zen went to Lirius? I think we did know that Zen went to Lirius, right? As, as Shiryuki was leaving Lirius. I think, I think we knew that already. But I wouldn't swear to it. Um, either way, the two of them ride off. Zen and Mitsuhide go do patrol. Kiki waves them goodbye, standing with Hisame. Uh, and they just sort of, you know, Kiki watches them go. Um, and I feel like there's a bit of, like, of longing there. That as she's, you know, as she's sort of getting older, she has to do these more courtly things, and she can't really go be a bodyguard anymore. Because there really is a look of longing there. Uh, that Hisame picks up on. Did you want to go? I did. I like watching over Clarinets. I don't often get to see the two of them off, so this is surprisingly enjoyable. Uh, so she's also finding new things to like in her new situation, which does kind of feel... I feel like you can you can draw parallels to that from that to her engagement, right? You know, she sort of found happiness in her engagement, much like she finds happiness watching Zen and Mitsuhide right off, maybe? I don't know. Um, it's an interesting reading, at the very least. Um, and Hisame like, watches where she's looking and turns back to her. You and Sir Mitsuhide and His Highness, I've seen you all stand side by side at Sereg many times and thought it was an immutable sight. I believe that having something that is unwavering is a good thing. You've known each other for many years, so your bond must be true. Eventually, when they have to see you off, I'm worried that they might have a hard time. Um, and, and Kiki's response, when it's time to leave Wyland? Right. And that may be so. Uh, and then he suddenly sort of looks down a little somberly. Uh, and Kiki follows his gaze. And we see he's staring at their shadows together. And gives this, like, smile. Like, he's sort of looking... I feel like he's looking at the idea of them together. You know? What, like, what this, what this three-parter has really been about is showing, like, the strength of the bond between the two of them. Uh, there's a reason my, my Tumblr blurb for the last video was No Thoughts Only Hisakiki. Or was that the title? Was the title No Thoughts Only Hisakiki? I think it was the, was the blurb. Um, but Kiki looks back at him. Um, and Kiki then tells him, so when that time comes, Lord Hisame, please be by my side, just as you are now. That's just fucking cute. That's just adorable, you know? That's just fucking adorable. That's my hot take. Like, they're just cute. They're just cute. That's my, that's my full thoughts on Hisakiki. And Hisame is taken aback at, like, you know, how, how close they sort of got him all of a sudden. 
And he leans in and kisses her. Uh, which is also huge. And just tells her, I'm falling in love with you, Lady Kiki. And I have to retry the, reload the page again. And just leans back and smiles. And Kiki is just, you know, shocked at that. And then she holds her head and then questions, weren't we supposed to take this slow? We are. Plenty comfortably slow. To be continued on July 23rd. All right, it's just adorable. That whole last scene was just adorable. The whole, like, please stay by my side, the, the staring at the shadows, the kiss, the, the confession. It's just fucking cute, y'all. It's just fucking cute. It's just good. It, it's some good shit here. Um, you know, I guess it could be better that they're developing far faster than our main duo, but, like... You know, that, that's par that's par for the course with this series. It's a it's, you know, in Hisame's own words, a comfortably slow series. Uh though even slower than than these two. Um But yeah, it's just cute all around. Like, I do like the way this this little mini arc really emphasizes the bonds between all of these four. You know, Hisame is not just some guy who's interrupted their perfect little trio. Uh, he's now, you know, a friend to Mitsuhide. Even if Mitsuhide is not exactly happy with the fact he sees this guy as a friend, he still does. And that's important, I think. Um, but then, yeah, it also sort of setting up, like, where we, where we left, where we led into uh, the whole arc with the perfume and, and Regilia and all that shit. Um... But, like, that's not really the important point. Like, that's not really why we're here. We're here because, you know, to have some time with Hisakiki. And, like, it's a good time. I, you know, part of me wishes we hadn't spent what will end up being because we're off, I guess, this, this release that just passed. Because uh, it took me a while to get to this one. Uh, and also it came out late in English. But, you know, we're, because we're off the June issue, we've sort of been here since, like, April uh, and we won't get back to the to the main story until July. So it is just sort of a bit of, you know, there's part of me that's like, I wish this had been a little faster, a little, a little like, all of these parts together might be a full chapter length. And if we had gotten all of those together, maybe it would have been a little better. Maybe, I don't know. It was still just really pleasant. That was my general thought. It was pleasant. It was cute. Uh, once again, one last time, no thoughts. Only Hisakiki. So with that said, I'm going to leave this, leave this video off here. I hope you'll enjoy the chapter and the video itself. If you did, feel free to drop me a like or subscribe or, you know, do whatever makes it happy, you know? And as always, your life is your own, okay? Bye!